Daniel Medvedev against Novak Djokovic, the 22-year-old Russian who's got a few tricks up his sleeve and he'll need them tonight because he comes up against a 14-time Grand Slam champion, a man who has been the champion no fewer than six times here in Australia. Rod Laver Arena, welcome to men's fourth round action. Please welcome our first player onto the court from Russia, Daniel Medvedev. His opponent is the number one player in the world and six-time Australian Open champion from Serbia, Novak Djokovic. And it truly was on this court where the journey to the big time began for this man with that great final 11 years ago when he and a young Frenchman called Joe Wilfried Zonga emerged from nowhere and freshened up tennis by making the Australian Open final. I wonder if this man might be able to do something similar in 2019. As we said, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. He is the number 15 seed. He's the 19th ranked player in the world, but he's going to need to be at his best because this man, after some injury issues and seeing his ranking drop down, is back to number one again. In fact, he's fifth all-time on the weeks occupying the number one spot. Lovely night, 20 degrees. It's getting a bit cooler in Melbourne. They may as well make the most of it because it's not going to be cool later in the week. And, of course, that is a big factor in the preparation as these men hopefully head towards a date on Sunday night. Good evening. How's it going? Good to see you. Daniel, this is Luke. Hi. Gentlemen, I uh, just want to give you a few information once again. After the coin toss, we take a picture with Luke, that direction, best of five sets. Tiebreak every set. If there's a final set tiebreak, it's up to 10 points. We have Hawkeye. If you want to challenge, make sure you let me know immediately. Make it clear. Best is to call challenge, as always. Surf clock, 25 seconds. Make sure you observe the clock. It's in both corners. And five minute warm up. I will announce end of warm up, and then you have actually 60 seconds to start the match. Do you have any questions so far? No? No luck? Luke told me he wants to ask you, Serbian background, so there we go. You want Rod Laver or ANZ? ANZ for you, Daniel. And it is ANZ, Daniel. Receive. Side picture, please. And a white towel, sure. All right, time to get down to business. Sitting alongside me in the commentary box high above Rod Laver Arena is John Millman. And this man, John, has done a remarkable job. He went through a few trials and tribulations, Novak Djokovic. His ranking saw him drop to as low as 12, if 12 is low. But he's back where he belongs at number one. He's done a brilliant job to get there. Oh, definitely. He's the best in the world. So we have a look at Daniel Medvedev's profile. And he's 22 years of age. He's earned $2.6 million in his career so far. Part of that is because he reached the final in Brisbane. He lost to Kane Ishikori. It was a good quality final up there. He had a bit of an injury cloud. I don't think it was anything major in Sydney, but he just wanted to protect his right shoulder. Three titles last year, the first three of his career in Sydney, Winston-Salem and Tokyo and he improved his career high rank eight times throughout the year this is the way that he has progressed to this stage of the tournament and it's been pretty comfortable so far hasn't dropped a set he's only been out there five hours and 19 minutes so that's a nice amount of time for him Novak Djokovic has been out there six hours and 29 minutes to get through and where do you start with his record a 14-time Grand Slam champion just a mere $126 million in prize money, and that's only on the court. He earned $15.96 million last year, and that wasn't even his best year. He earned $21.6 in 2015. So he's been 
an incredible player, a money-making machine. Five times the year-end number one. Top three every year since 2007, except that year, 2017, where we said he dropped down to 12 in the world. He's been the six-time champion in Australia. He won the French Open in 2016 in that memorable match. At Wimbledon, he's been the champion four times, and he's done it three times at the US Open for a total of 14 Grand Slam championships. But as I said, John, this is actually where it all Three began for him. 2008, that final against Joe Wilfried Zonga. We knew he was going to be a good player, but he's turned in the next decade into a great player. Oh, hasn't he ever? And I don't think there's too many other places he prefers playing than here in Australia. He's had so much success here. Djokovic leads the head-to-head -head series 2-0. The last meeting was on the grass of Eastbourne in the semi-final. We know Djokovic, he can play on the grass also. He's accomplished on all of the surfaces, as you'd expect from our world number one. And it's Nico Helveth is the man in the chair tonight from Germany. This is a good measuring stick for Medvedev. A lot of people have got his ranking as one with a bullet. He's a star on the rise, but he's meeting the player with the number one ranking for the first time. So this is a good indicator of where he's at in his tennis Two development at minutes. 22 years of age. And I'll tell you what, he can't be meeting Djokovic with much better form after you touched on, Petey. He made the final of Brisbane, but just his form at this Australian Open, he's been so economical. He's only been on court five, six hours. Yeah. And he hasn't dropped a set yet. And I think the most impressive result was that win over David Goffin so hard to put away and he did so in straight sets so he'll be feeling very very confident about his game but Djokovic he has a few tricks up his sleeve and he is in ominous form